5. Natural Reasons Why Life Is Hard If anyone had mentioned it to us while we were growing up that life will be this tough and rough, we'd probably have argued or perhaps ignored them that they didn't know what they were saying. As children, we enjoyed nearly every pleasure life had to offer. I mean, we could cry out for a bowl of ice cream this minute and the next minute we're not only stuffing our face in one, we're equally stuffing our mouth with other available snacks like pizza, chocolates and the likes. As if that isn't enough, both hands will be filled with one yummy goodness or the other. Do you know what I'm trying to say? We got everything we wanted and more without trying so hard. So, what changed? Why don't we get the things we want anymore? Why is life so difficult now? I mean, when we were kids, we looked forward to growing up. We'd always admire the grown-ups and wanted so much to be like them because being an adult felt so much like freedom. No one tells you what to do or when to do it, so you can do absolutely anything that pleases you. Isn't that fun? Again, we are grown and we have that freedom we earnestly desired back then. Why isn't life as easy as we thought it would be now? Okay, we'll talk about that. But first, have you considered some of the things that made it seem like life is hard? I'll tell you. You see, we all have four basic needs in life. Also, we desire to have all four needs met every single time. When we don't, we become sad and conclude that life is hard. In this video, I'll share with you five natural reasons why life is hard. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Remember what we said about having four basic needs in life? Well, we all want to have 1. Money 2. Sound health 3. Freedom and 4. Healthy relationships Now that I mentioned it, you think I might be right, isn't it? Well, of course it's true. We all want to have so much money that we can get all the beautiful things and luxuries that money can buy. We also want to have the other stuffs that money can't buy, such as good health and a fit body healthy relationships and good networks and freedom, including financial freedom. However, when we don't get these things, we assume life is hard. In the real sense, that is true. So, let's talk about why life is difficult. 1. We are emotional beings The first reason why we feel as though life is tough is that oftentimes than not, our emotions lead us to react to things faster than our brain or logic tells us to. I mean, why would life be difficult when we are reacting under the influence of our emotions, not out of a sound mind? For instance, when we overeat, overdrink, overspend, overindulge because we are living in the moment at the time, what happens when the moment passes by? We'll be left to face the consequences of our actions, which were reactions to our emotions in the first place. Does this make sense to you? For instance, if you have $10, of which you intend to save $4, and spend the remaining $6 sorting out some other basic needs of yours. Let's say you saw a friend on your way back from work and you two decide to go have some fun at the nearest bar or club. Unfortunately for you, because you were so happy to reunite with an old-time friend, you ended up spending $5 taking care of drinks and snacks for both of you. Guess what will happen next? You'll spend the next couple days saying, life is hard because you barely have enough money to save and also still afford some of your basic needs. Quick question, was it really life's fault that you spent half of your money having fun? Of course. And before you jump into any form of conclusion, having fun isn't a bad idea. However, be careful not to make any decision, positive or negative, when you are emotional. The result might not be favorable as much as you please. 2. We have impending fears that constantly overcome us. Sometimes, life seems more difficult than it actually is because of our fears. Our fears are things that we haven't done before, yet we feel we might fall if we attempt to do it. They are feelings that make us doubt our potential and capabilities. As a result, we give room for it to limit us and overcome us. Rodyard Kipling, an English journalist and short story writer, said and I quote, Of all the liars in the world, sometimes the worst are our own fears. Instead of worrying about how badly we might perform when we eventually try the one thing we fear the most, we should face our fears and take the bull by the head. Also, according to James F. Barnes, too many people are thinking of security instead of opportunity. 
They seem to be more afraid of life than death. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, "Do the thing you fear, and the death of fear is certain." Three. We allow negative people into our space. Remember, we said that one of our greatest needs in life is to have healthy relationships. When we don't, we deprive ourselves of the joy and happiness that comes with it, and we also allow ourselves to get hurt by all the drama that comes with keeping negative and toxic people around us. You'll find out that life isn't that difficult when you are surrounded by good and positive-minded people. Always remember that it is your responsibility to choose who you want in your space. No one can invade that space unless you give them the chance to do so. Four. We ignore. Health basics. Health is life and happiness. Marcus Valerius Martialis, a Roman poet, said, "Life is not merely being alive, but being well." When you ignore basic health advice, you have doubtedly heard a thousand times by eating junk, sleeping a crazy schedule, or skipping exercise entirely, you'll end up feeling like crap and lament about the difficulty of life. Albert Hubert, an American writer and publisher, said, "If you have health." You probably will be happy, and if you have health and happiness, you have the wealth you need, even if it is not all you want. If you want life to be easy on you and easy for you, you have to learn how to take good care of your health. Five. We do not realize how much effort is needed to get things done. Terry Mark said, "Nothing good comes cheaply, so we shouldn't be surprised when we meet the hard while going for the best. Hard times are not quit times." The truth is that nothing good comes easy. It takes time and a lot of work. If you understand this truth and rule, you won't perceive life to be as difficult as you once thought it is. Louis de Brandeis said, and I quote: "If you would only recognize that life is hard, things would be so much easier for you." We often expect to get things so easily, with little or no effort. Well, I'm sorry to break the news. Life wasn't wired to work that way. Think about all the good things that you are enjoying. Cars, phones, and devices, clothes, and the likes. How do you think they were made, or how long do you think it took to make them? When you realize and live by this reality, you'll experience life from the easier side. It won't feel hard to you. Final words. Kenji Miyazawa, a Japanese novelist, said we must embrace pain and burn it as fuel for our journey. John Wooden, an American basketball player and head coach, also said. That things turn out the best for the people who make the best of the way things turn out. No matter how things seem to be tough, do not quit. Keep at it, get better at it, and it will only be a matter of time before things start working out well. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe, so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.